If you have diabetes be sure to visit your ophthalmologist. Proliferative diabetic retinopathy can cause serious damage to the retina leading to severe vision loss. In this video, a young female presented with tractional retinal detachment due to extensive fibrovascular proliferations along the retinal vessels. Surgical treatment was therefore urgent. After a core posterior vitrectomy, the first major step is to peel and remove the extensive fibrovascular membranes. This is achieved using the vitrectum with moderate vacuum and about 5,000 cuts per minute. As you pull on these membranes, extreme care is needed not to extend the retinal detachment. Some vessels will bleed, so endodiathermy is used to readily cauterize. Another very large proliferation stretching from the optic disc is visualized and carefully segmented and aspirated. Deliberate persistence pays off and the proliferation is removed. Having released the major points of traction, the surgeon proceeds with peripheral vitrectomy. Extensive blood clots are seen and readily aspirated. It is important to diligently remove the peripheral vitreous to prevent future retinal tears and detachment. The next major step is to remove the epiretinal membrane, which is very adherent, so brilliant blue dye is injected and using the microforceps, multiple careful grabs are done to remove as much as possible of the fibrotic macular membrane. Next up, endolaser is performed in 360 degrees. This is critical to reduce the ischemic neovascular stimulus. About 2500 to 3000 laser burns should be enough. Finally, being a young patient, gas tamponade with SF6 at 20% is performed. To finish the surgery, triamcinolone is injected to reduce macular edema. Subconjunctival dexamethasone and gentamicin are injected and the case is complete. A marked improvement in vision was seen at the first post-operative month.